You can pick up some Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. Your friends will ask, what's Side Surf Cake Studio? And you can say, oh, let me show you. Natalie Sidesurf here of Side Surf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a cowboy boot cake. Howdy, partners. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack some cake. And then I'll carve the cake into the shape of a boot and cover the entire thing in a layer of green buttercream. This cake's got sole, a custom foam board sole <laughs> that I covered in modeling chocolate and I'm using as a cake board. There aren't a ton of steps and materials used to make this cake. Instead, I'm really relying on my ability to sculpt in order to make it look as realistic as possible. And that's what I think is really interesting about this boot cake. And also very, very challenging. There's a cake in my boot. I'm fixing to post a brand new hyper-realistic cake on this channel every week. So subscribe right now so you don't miss them. I'm rolling out some black modeling chocolate and I'll use it to cover the cake. Now I know this looks a lot like fondant, but it is not. No matter how many people on the internet tell me that it is. Modeling chocolate is just pliable chocolate. It sculpts similar to clay and it tastes like whatever brand chocolate you use in the recipe. Almost all my cakes are covered in this stuff. My hyper-realistic cakes are a reminder that it's a good thing to stay open-minded because sometimes things aren't always as they seem. Bruh. This chocolate is looking a little too smooth, so I'm adding a subtle leather texture with this very professional sculpting tool, also known as crumbled up foil. It's time to sculpt some deets. Now I know what you're thinking. What in tornation is that wheelie tool? This here is called an overstitch wheel, and it is used to punch evenly spaced marks on a material, which is exactly what I need to create the illusion of stitching on my boot. I'm like a cowboy magician today, full of boots and illusions. <laughs> Actually, more like a cow girl, because this is my boot. I own two of them, one for each foot. Then again, I don't know if I could actually call myself a cow girl. I've never even been on a cow. Even though I've lived in Texas for 10 years, the only thing that I've ever come close to wrangling is my husband's neck. For the heel, I'm scoring the chocolate with a blade to make it look like it's layers of wood. And now it's time to paint. I'm painting dark horizontal lines and then I let the color dry and I add a final wash of color over the entire heel. And I have to admit, it's looking like real wood. I wanna add a varnish to the heel, but nothing too glossy. So I brushed on some melted butter. And this has me grinning like a possum eating a sweet potato. And there you have it, a cowboy boot cake. What do you think? Does this cake pass as a hyper-realistic cake? Now let's destroy this boot and cut the cake. If you like this cake, give this video a like and head over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com where you can get some Side Surf Cake Studio items. Like this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's so cute. All that time and effort was well worth it. I'll see you next week for another cake.